So we can see in here the building and it's changed pretty much. It's become much, much smaller. We believe this is the exact house because everything else is, you know, the even the windows are still the same over there. We can ju just not... Oh, there's someone home. There's someone home, so I'm gonna try and knock on the door. In September 2020, I traveled to northeastern France to the city of Hagenau in the French Alsace area. I had originally planned to visit the sites of the 101st Airborne Division. As most of you probably know, in HBO's Band of Brothers Part 8, The Last Patrol, the 101st Airborne Division took up positions in and around the town after the Battle of the Bulge in late January 1945. However, upon starting my research, I discovered that several other units fought in the town and the deliberation of Hagenau goes beyond the 101st Airborne Division. In this video, we hope to tell the story of those relatively unknown units. By taking then and now photographs, we walk in the footsteps of the men that liberated Hagenau and hope to form a direct link with the past and the present. On December 10, 1944, the first element of the 314th Infantry Regiment of the 79th Infantry Division moved into Hagenau. Approaching the town from the southwest, a motion picture cameraman captured these moments. As you can see, we tried to match up every shot with the situation of today. In the regimental history book of the 314th Infantry Regiment was one picture that was taken a bit further along this road. In the photograph we can see the same tank that appeared on the footage before. As you can see, the houses on the right match up perfectly with today. You can see that the rain pipe is still there. You can see that the corner of the house in the back still matches up and even the concrete parts of the fence still remain visible. Unfortunately, the houses are vacant, and it probably won't be long before they are taken down. In situations like this, I wish I could talk to the local government and tell them to preserve this property and create a historical route to create awareness of this town's involvement in World War II. The next two photographs that we have were taken further along the road. Again, we can see the Sherman tank from the previous photos in this first photograph. The building in the front shows the word Gasthaus, which is a German word for a small inn or hotel. The second photograph shows a captured Nazi flag. The two soldiers are probably members of the 314th Infantry Regiment who advanced along this road into Hagenau. They are also standing in front of the Gasthaus of the previous photograph. And as you can see, after 76 years, not a lot has changed. After more than a week of fighting, the 79th Infantry Division took Hagenau on December 10, 
1944. After that, the fighting continued and the division moved up further north to the German border into the Siegfried Line. On December 16, 1944, the Germans launched their massive counterattack in the Ardennes in Belgium and Luxembourg, not far from Hagenau. That counterattack became known as the Battle of the Bulge. The front line remained stable in the Alsace area, but what the Allies did not expect was that the Germans had a follow up plan. On December 31, 1944, the Germans launched another massive counterattack in the Vosges area to destroy the American 7th Army and used the Rhine Valley to retake Strasbourg. After three weeks of fighting and giving up ground, Hagenau became a battle zone again. The Motor River formed a natural border between the American and German lines. The 101st Airborne Division was rushed up to the front here in the last week of January to relieve the 79th Infantry Division and strengthen the positions along the Motor River. The 36th Infantry Division relieved the 101st Airborne Division on February 27, 1945, and two weeks later, on March 15, the Allies resumed the offensive. However, it wasn't until March 19 that the last German was cleared out of Hagenau after house-to-house -house fighting. I have two pictures that were taken here and on the other side of the street. Um, it's of an anti-tank gun crew. And in the picture that I have over here, you can clearly see a few elements. You can see the, the corner of the house and the you know you can see this wall. And most important, you can see the house, the house on the, on the other side. You can see the three windows on the top, three windows on the side. So another feature that you cannot see from there because back then they used different lenses with different focal lengths are two buildings that are in the back. You can see that they clearly match up if you send them the right point. But the anti-tank gun crew was right here, shooting in that direction. These are also guys from the 79th Division. So this picture is taken right across the street. Uh, that's where the anti-tank gun crew is. And you can see the same anti-tank uh, crew right here, pointing that way. Basically, right there is the bridge leading over the motor river. It's the front line. It's, it's where the Germans uh, were. So if we walk over, to the other side of the street. The anti-tank crew belonged to the US 79th Infantry Division and the photographs were taken on January 18, 1945, after they had retreated back from the German border to Hagenau. As you can see, the guns were aiming towards the Motor River, which was only about 200 yards away and where the Germans were dug in on the other side. In front of me, you see the Wissembourg Gate to where the gun was aiming, right before the bridge over the Motor River. After the whole 79th Infantry Division had retreated back across the Motor River, engineers blew the bridge. Now in this piece of footage, taken on January 22nd, 1945, four days after the pictures were taken, you can see that happening. Here are the stones, you know, the layer on layer. You see it? There's that house over there. And the GIs are walking. To that house. On February 5th, 1945, the 101st Airborne Division started to take over the positions of the 79th Infantry Division in Hagenau. On that same February 5th, a photograph was taken of an M10 tank destroyer and a crew watching over the Motor River. Now at this location, another picture showing an M1917 machine gun team of the 36th Infantry Division was taken on the other side of the fence on February 23, 1945. 76 years later, the location has barely changed. Oh, show me the picture. So we see three GIs, right? Yeah, one is standing here. He's standing at the exact corner right there. Right there. Of the street. He's almost here, I think. He's standing at the bend. So this wall is almost, the walls, the fence is the same, it's all the same, but if we look closer we see that there is a barricade here on the street, that's not there of course today, but this whole building is almost exactly the same, you know. It took away the pillars. Exactly, that was, that's what I was referring to. They're gone. But the fenders are still the same over oh. there. That's interesting because, yeah. 
maybe that's one of the older pillars that we just cannot i don't know maybe they change that as well i don't know exactly but turn 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 uh t go to the other side of the, of the picture what do you see this is taken from here it's an m10 it's a tank destroyer so this is taken out of they took the, ph the photo from the house behind from behind the fence no so if i go behind the fence you can you'll stay there stay there <laughs> i'm gonna try and sneak up on here more shot show me so that was taken from the window actually we cannot see it but it was taken from the window and you can see the band right here you can see the band in the photograph to this square and they're looking at we so we cannot make the then and now but do we see the house on the left I think the house on the left is right there. Yeah, you got the two uh, chimneys. chimneys. Chimneys up here. There's one here, there's one here. That's crazy. So, so the tank was standing the right up here. Or here. They what? tear them down and they rebuild they, they built that house over uh, there. They built a whole new square. That's crazy. At the final location, we tracked down an 81mm mortar crew of D Company of the 141st Infantry Regiment of the 36th Infantry Division. We have several photographs and footage of the crew firing their mortars across the Motor River on March 9th, 1945. Guys, okay, so uh, we are right here. From the Google Street View, we were able to stand in this street. And we believe, because it's in this picture you can see a wall and we're standing on the other side of the wall because that's the red road is we're gonna try and match this up because there are several elements that i would like to explain to you in the picture uh, oh my god the pillars are still standing this is crazy but it's so much has changed wow maybe they will allow us to shoot a photograph from the backyard So we can see in here the building and it's changed pretty much. It's become much, much smaller. But uh, you can see the, the right there, you can see that little, little tower in the back of the photograph. We believe this is the exact house because everything else is, you know, the even the windows are still the same over there. We can ju just not... Ooh, there's someone home there's someone home so i'm gonna try and knock on the door let's uh, see how this works out so when uh, when did you buy the house when did you live? my grandma um Grandmother. Did she live here in the war? Yes. Wow. So mm. she she knew this. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and when uh, a few years ago we had a swimming pool, and then we uh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you, it, uh, yeah, you dug the dug the ground. Yes, and we found uh, uh, a bomb. Boom. Boom. Wow. Yes. Really? Mm. Yes. One of the mortars. Wow. Yeah. Mm. These are like um, um, eighty-eight. Yeah, at eighty-one millimeter. I don't know in French, but it's like the big, big, big uh, mortar. They were shooting on uh, the Porte de Porte de Vissembourg. Wait, wait, at mm -hmm. the bridge. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So wow, That's really cool. <laughs> unbelievable. Ah, it's hard to take a photograph. It's uh, <laughs> d difficult. <Yes. laughs> but that's interesting. Mm -hmm. So how am I gonna gonna do this? The gate is still the same. Yeah, yeah from here it's. Uh, from here. So Wow. Big house. Just for the two of you? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and when I was born, I had my 
Uh, that's better, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so the mortars, the mortars, they were right here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today, you don't see nobody with, with her parents live together, you know? Not anymore. I mean, not. So in the footage, you can see the mortar crew right there. Right there. And they built this little shed for that car. But everything else is... It is crazy that it's actually right here. I wish I had a better camera person helping me out, but this is unbelievable. Wow, I'm, I'm so surprised. It's crazy. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to take these in then and now shots. When I filmed this, I took the wrong lens and I didn't have my camera buddy and fellow researcher, Florent Plana, with me. Nevertheless, touching history like this is what made the trip unforgettable. I stood in the exact same place where the heavy mortar crew was firing the mortars 76 years before. I hope you all learned something about the liberation of Hagenau. The town has been a combat zone for more than two months and the 79th Division sacrificed many young men in order to defend the line. There are many more stories to tell and photographs to take, but that will be something for the future. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and leave a comment. And also make sure to follow us on all social media platforms and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you enjoy taking then and now photographs, please keep an eye on our website. Very soon, we will be publishing official Snafu Docs then and now e-guides for you to print out and to take with you on the battlefields. Thank you for watching, may we never forget 